If you would like to see how I created these XOXO, there's still an O missing. I just couldn't fit it right here. Um, just make sure you subscribe and I will show you exactly how I did those. They are going to be filled with balloons, so they will not stay like that. Okay, at this step, you're going to tie both of the two balloons together and just tie it in a good old knot. Then you will just continue with this method with all the balloons. So as you can see, I'm doing black with black and red with red. Okay, so you can fill a balloon with water just to hold the bottom of this um, column down, but I'm personally not going to do it just because, I, I don't know, I just never do it. But um, this is just for the video anyway, so yeah, just connect this to the bottom and then it'll hold it down. So what we're going to do is you're going to grab a red and you're going to grab a black. We're going to put these in together. And you're not going to stop there. You're going to want to wrap it. And then wrap it one more time. It should look like this. So you want the red across the red and the black across the black. Um, so you don't want black next to black or red next to red. So there you go. There's one. Grab your string. and just go under here. I like to just tie a little knot right here. Okay. I would loosen this up just a little bit. Loosen it. And then you can grab your other one, which I already did this one. So I want it to go in a diagonal. So you want your black, I think right there, does that look fine? Yeah, so the black is gonna go like spin around. Is that how you would say it? Is that good? Yeah. Okay, so put it where you like it. I like mine there. Okay, then you're gonna grab your string that was tied down there, lift it, go around, go under, go around, go under. Make sure you go underneath the other ones as well. Under, around, under the other ones. And that feels pretty, pretty good right there. So I'm gonna stop there. And I'm gonna get another red and black. This 
one might be a little bit too big for my liking. Does that work? No, that'll work. Okay, grab your string and do the same thing. So make sure you go underneath the other balloons. look a little bit too small so I might twist that yeah that's better you see this one looks a little big so I definitely would recommend definitely okay guys so I just wanted to mention I know you probably noticed my balloons they were like uneven they weren't the same size some were big and some were small but I guarantee you if you use like a balloon sizer your project will come out a lot better so um, definitely get one of those before you do this I didn't do that and I'm so sorry but I can link some options down below or maybe you can even DIY one which I should have done um, yeah I'll link it down below some different options that you can buy before you do this it'll make it so much better I just wanted to let y'all know that before I continue. So now we're gonna get this one and we're gonna add it to the very top. I want y'all to see. Let me back this up a little bit. Give me just a second. I'm gonna go get me a straw. blow our little thingy up so here's our balloon I just have a little straw see as tight as possible so there you go and then let's go what I'm gonna do is glue it on I did get a little stick that way I don't put the glue directly on here so I hope that you can see let me move it this way I'll just glue like back here like just here and here well I really got to put it like on the edges to stick Definitely going to have to, well, yeah, no. I think that heart needs to be way bigger. What the heck? It's literally gonna have to work. Unless I put two hearts. What do y'all think? Mm. 